and New York State Assembly member Rodney Spishot Hermelin. Thanks for being with us. Last week, Governor Cuomo vowed to fight. Are you surprised he resigned today? Well, thank you, Anna, for having me on. Look, we all expected Governor Cuomo to resign. This is the beginning of the end of a nightmare for New York State, but the start of the opportunity to have a woman to run the state. And, you know, although this is a historical and profound moment, it comes to no surprise, certainly. Um, everything was headed towards a resignation after the Attorney General's report was released. And not to mention with the two additional women um, stepping forward about their, their experiences with the governor. Um, resigning was the right thing for him to do, or going to be the right thing for him to do, but it also could be strategic for him. Um, and as you know, um, Today, as of today, the Judiciary Committee is still proceeding with the anticipation of an impeachment process. So if Cuomo decides to resign before the proceeding starts, we have to decide whether we can further impeach, um, further the impeachment process um, legally. And in that event, um, he would be, it would be very similar to Trump um, in terms of the impeachment process. But unlike the federal system, um, senators would be the only judges and the jurors and um, the judges from the state's highest court which is the court of appeal would hear the case cuomo resigns will not bar him from running in the future so again i think this is a very strategic move for him okay i understand what you're saying however we do know that he can't be impeached if he's out of office so like you said Two weeks is when he's supposed to resign. Two weeks from now, we'll see where it goes. What I'm hearing you say is the impeachment process will continue up until that point. I do want to get some reaction from a couple of the governor's accusers, who apparently through their attorney are saying they feel vindicated and relieved that he will no longer, quote, be in a position of power over anyone. What message do you think his resignation sends to the victims of sexual harassment? Not just his own accusers, but other victims of sexual harassment. I think that it, the message says that if we speak out loud uh, uniformly and, and with solidarity, that um, justice and, and, and all of us who's been a victim of sexual harassment and sexual assault, we can be vindicated. Um, I think it, this was a movement, a movement that's been um, waiting for so long. Um, in terms of hearing the voices of victims who has been um, abused uh, by, um, in particular, men of power. And so I think it just sends a message that, you know, um, New York is changing, the state of New York is changing, um, the workplace in which we work and um, is changing. So I think it sent a strong message to everyone. And now you will see um, probably more women um, running for these higher positions because people will feel more comfortable with women um, being in these positions, um, nurturing and doing the work that is called for for them. Again, just to reiterate how big this is, Andrew Cuomo was the governor for the past 10 years. His father was New York governor as well for a couple of, at least a couple of um, stints. This is a political dynasty ending this way. You know, it's historical. It's profound. This is um, this is huge, as you as you mentioned. And again, um, this resonates with all of us. And telling the, the state of New York that, you know, we can no longer um, be abused. Um, power is given by the people, and the people has spoken. And so we are ready to take on this historic uh, moment um, and potentially let a woman run the state of New York. Can I just really quickly circle back to what you said, you know, at the top, which is if he resigns, do you think that he will still try to run again? Well, I think that was strategic and I would not put anything past um, uh, Governor Cuomo. Uh, you mentioned that, you know, he came from a dynasty. Um, more than 40 years of having control and power over the state of New York. Um, so, you know, when you are raised and bred with power like that, there's no stopping. And so I do feel that there might be a, a potential for him to run again, not to mention 
the polls are also saying that um, people would reelect them. Um, there was a poll that came out yesterday uh, that said about 26% of uh, voters would vote for him and the rest of the numbers was split amongst like 12 or other 13 potential candidates. So in his mind, um, he feels that he may have another shot at this. We'll see. New York State Assembly Member Rodney Bichot. Hermelin, thank you so much for being with us.